Best for soil. Soil organic matter. Hello. Hi, my name is Alfred Grant. Name is Alfred Grant. This Best for Soil video provides an introduction to the topic of soil organic matter, its benefits, and how to protect and increase soil organic matter in your field. At the end of the video, you will find additional information on these topics. Please consider to watch also the other Best for Soil videos on compost and other soil health-related topics. Soil organic matter consists mainly of carbon. It is defined by the component in the soil originating from plant and animal residues at different stages of decomposition. In most arable fields in Europe, the content of soil organic matter reaches from 1% to 6%. The cooler the climate and soil, the more soil organic matter can be found. Therefore, in Northern Europe, higher levels of soil organic matter are stored than in Southern Europe. Soil organic matter has an enormous impact on the physical, chemical and biological characteristics of the soil and therefore also on different soil functions. Considering these facts, soil organic matter plays an important role for soil, farmers, society, environment and climate. One of the physical benefits of soil organic matter is aggregate stability, which results in reduced crusting improved water infiltration, pore space and air distribution. Also, the water holding capacity is improved by increasing the soil organic matter content. These characteristics are extremely important if we consider the increasing occurrence of severe weather events with a changing climate. Benefits from increasing soil organic matter on chemical characteristics include higher cation exchange capacity, which is the capacity of the soil to attract and store important nutrients. In general, it results in a more dynamic nutrient availability for plants. One of the most important characteristics of soil organic matter is that it supports soil organisms, which ultimately benefit the farmer. Organic matter is food for the microbes, which cause an increase in microbial activity that is most relevant for the control of soil-borne diseases. But soil organic matter is also a habitat, helping to increase the diversity of soil microbes. The impact of soil organic matter on a different soil characteristics results in reduced stress levels for plants, increased soil resilience, and the ability of the soil to deliver the different soil functions even under difficult conditions, such as drought, heavy rain events, etc. Besides of all the physical, chemical and biological effects, increasing soil organic matter can contribute to mitigate climate change as it increases the ability of soils to sequester carbon. So which methods are considered the most effective to avoid losses of soil organic matter on one hand and to maintain or even increase soil organic matter on the other hand. How can we not only protect the existing soil organic matter levels, but also add new organic matter to the soil? Before we go further, you can consult the balance sheet for soil organic matter in order to choose your strategy. You can calculate it by using the best for soil fact sheet. There are basically three types of soil organic matter easily soluble, stable and moderately stable organic matter. Each type has its own functions, all of which are important. If we want to take care of soil organic matter, it is easier to protect the existing soil organic matter than to create new soil organic matter. With cultivation, oxygen is incorporated into the soil and microbial activity is accelerated. Microbes feed on the organic matter and release carbon dioxide into the air. Although this is part of a natural cycle and an important resource for plants, excessive repetition of this process is not necessary and leads to the reduction of soil organic matter levels. Another pathway where soil organic matter gets lost is through erosion. When topsoil is removed from the field through wind and water, significant amounts of soil organic matter are also leaving the field. 
Also, removing all plant residues from the field has an effect on the loss of soil organic matter in the field, as they protect the soil from erosion and provide fresh organic matter to the soil. Therefore, reducing cultivation, reducing soil erosion, and returning plant residues to the field is important to maintain soil organic matter levels and stop the loss of soil organic matter. Several methods can help to increase the amount of soil organic matter in our fields. One of the best methods is to keep the soil surface covered with living plants. This can be achieved through a diverse crop rotation and the implementation of cover crop mixes. If possible, perennial legumes like clover and lucerne or mixes from grass and clover work best to increase or maintain soil organic matter. Another method is to apply organic matter onto the field. Compost, solid manure, organic fertilizer and soil amendments can be applied, but also newer materials such as biochar can have a significant and fast impact on raising soil organic matter in fields. Biochar is charcoal produced through the pyrolysis of organic wastes. It is rich in carbon and stable in soil where it stays intact for centuries. Keeping livestock on the field for grazing cover crops or perennial crops also helps to increase soil organic matter levels in the field. Take into account the type of resources you choose. Diverse sources and even crop species affect the composition of organic matter differently. For example, you can choose woody or non-woody species to increase either the easily soluble or stable organic matter content. Rising soil organic matter levels in a field is a long-term process, which needs a lot of know-how and some experience. If you want to get more information, feel free to check the Best for Soil website, where you can find additional resources and more in-depth information in our fact sheets.